Hi, this is Lisa Bardot, and today's drawing tutorial is all about eyes. This video is a part of my People Skills series, a month-long sequence of tutorials, lessons, and prompts that will get you familiar with the basics of drawing humans and help you develop your own people drawing style. If this is your first People Skills video, I recommend starting with the intro video and working your way through the tutorials sequentially. You can find the full sequence of tutorials at bardobrush.com people. We'll be using the iPad app Procreate to do the tutorials, but you are more than welcome to join in with a paper and pencil or whatever medium you feel comfortable using. If you are new to Procreate, I highly recommend watching my intro to Procreate tutorial. Let's get started. To stylize something is to depict a subject in a non-realistic way. Although we're not going to be drawing realistically, it is important to understand the way something looks realistically. To get started drawing eyes, we need to figure out two things. First, what is the minimum amount of information needed to depict an eye? Like, what is the least amount of detail you can include and still have someone say, yep, that's an eye? I call this minimal depiction. The minimal depiction of an eye is the humble black dot. Now, a black dot on a white page doesn't really communicate anything, but when we add the context of a round shape and a second dot, these are very obviously eyes. So that's easy enough. Second, we need to recognize the basic elements that make up an eye. Now let's take a real eye and break it down into elements. First is the shape of the eye, an oblong or almond shape, which is white. Then we have the pupil, which is black, and the iris, which is a shade in between white and black. The iris is also made up of little lines that extend out from the center of the pupil. Eyes are shiny, so there's usually a white reflection, and you can often see a line right above the eye that is the fold of the eyelid. And of course, eyelashes. And there is also a little tear duct in the corner. If we want to keep going, there are little details like veins in the whites of the eyes and sometimes wrinkles. Of course, there are more tiny details you might observe, but I think it's best to use the most basic elements. So now our basic elements for the eye are these seven items. Let's put them together. An oblong shape, a pupil, an iris, a reflection, eyelid fold, eyelashes, and tear duct. So now that you know this list of elements, your job as the artist is to make choices. You decide which of these elements to include and how to draw them. There is no right or wrong way to do this, just your way. So now I'm going to manipulate these basic elements and try to fill a page with as many different eyes as I can. So to do my sketches, I'm using the Bardo pencil from the pencil box set. Um, this one is really cool. It behaves just like a real pencil where if you tilt it sideways, you can get kind of the shading effect, but if you use it more straight up and down, it's more fine point. So to start out, I wanna do one that just kind of includes all of those elements. So I'm gonna draw the oval shape and I'm gonna add my tear duct on the side and this is kind of a stylistic choice. Of course, all of this is. And then I'm gonna add the iris and the pupil and I'm gonna use the tilt function on my Apple Pencil to shade in the iris, kind of a middle gray. And then I'll use the eraser tool to add in my reflection. I'm gonna do it like a little circle oval. And next I'm gonna add the fold that goes above the eye. That's for the eyelid and then just some kind of like long lashes. And we can decide to add lashes on the bottom as well. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. Another way we could draw an eye is just literally a black circle with a curved line over it. Maybe we'll draw on the tear duct and a little bit of the bottom of the line and some short little lashes. And right now I'm really just drawing like whatever comes into my head. I'm just drawing that. Maybe I can do the lashes straight. Maybe I can make the shape of the eye a circle and I can fill in most of that and just add a couple lashes on the side. I can also play around with different shapes. I can try an oval. I can do it as a circle. That's kind of like the one up above, but maybe I'll add 
in a little bit more detail. And maybe I can even try it as like a triangle. Kind of look, <laughs> looking a little angry. Um, or a rectangle. Like there's literally like any possibility that you want when you're creating this. And the more that you do this, the more that you're gonna find different ways that you like to do it and different ways to communicate, maybe a mood or expression, which we are gonna get into, um, come down the line a little bit with this people skills series. So another thing I can try is just drawing the tear duct in, not adding it at the end. So it kind of has this almond shape with like a little nub on the end. Then I can try connecting the line for the eyelid, that fold line. Maybe we'll add another line at the bottom. Maybe this person has like bags <laughs> under their eyes. So we'll add that in. Another thing to know is that eyes are curved. So you can also add some shading like in the corner of the eyes. Maybe we'll also add an iris to this and that kind of lighter value and maybe some more wrinkles. That could be like an old eye. <laughs> um, okay, let's try some more round shapes because we can do we can do the iris and then the pupil darker. So we have three values in that eye. One thing I haven't really been doing a ton of is adding a reflection and that's gonna make the eyes look kind of like more shiny. I mean, that's what a reflection does. The reflection is gonna make the eyes look more shiny and um, often more like vibrant, more detailed. Yeah, this eye looks really <laughs> surprised, I think, because it looks like it's very wide open. You can also not include that bottom line, like I've done a few times here. Now, another thing you can play around with is maybe the eye is a little bit closed, so you can't really see much of it at all. And the line that we use to depict the eyelid fold, that would still be visible. Maybe we'll make this like kind of squared off, kind of like that. Maybe we'll add a reflection to that that is also a square shape. It's kind of interesting. We'll do kind of like a more cat eye shape. And we can even play around with that minimal depiction concept that I was talking to you about. So if a dot is all we need to convey an eye, we can start there and add little bits to that. So maybe a dot with some lashes or a dot with an eyelid fold over it or a dot with a tear duct. <laughs> I don't know, just play around. Maybe we want a little bit more detail than that. Like what? At what point does it stop looking like an eye? And I think that finding a happy balance in between too much detail, not enough detail is, is really important. Maybe the pupil is actually really tiny. Super basic, but it still says eye. Kind of like that closed eye look. The eyelash is coming out. Let's try like a, I don't know. <laughs> like a tombstone shape, I guess. And we'll put the pupil and everything a little bit lower. This eye looks really like, the eyes are just like, ah, super open. And <laughs> maybe this character is really surprised. I really like adding the tear duct. I'm, as I'm doing more of these, like I can see what I gravitate to is like, I really like the element of adding that little, that little like bit of realism. <laughs> Maybe we'll do like a rectangle shape or a half rectangle shape up here. Those would be like, I don't know, like angry eyes. And then I'm gonna go back to the dots here because I think we can do like different shapes. So we could also do something that's completely filled in. So like an eye shape, but it's just totally black. Maybe over here we'll do one more, but this one looks like, that reminds me of a snake because snakes kind of have those like slit eyes, so doing like that long skinny shape. All right, I'm getting towards full on this canvas here. So lots of little reflections in that one. When you add a lot of reflections, it starts looking very like childlike and innocent, or maybe like the eyes are watering up so it's extra shiny. So maybe some tears are about to fall. But yeah, there's, as you can see, like lots and lots of different ways that you can draw an eye. Again, it's all like experimentation. What do you like? What works? What doesn't work? Not everything's gonna work well. Maybe I'll do like a diamond shape for one. All the little elements of it can be very angular, pointy. Let's see what else we got over here.
This one kind of looks like a taco <laughs> with some like lettuce poking out of the side. <laughs> but there, now it's like a little less like a taco, but I kind of like it. It's kind of a fun effect. Maybe this could be like almost like a sun, like an eye and a sun at the same time. All right, I really think I'm running out of room here, so I'm gonna be done. But as you can see, you can quickly and easily come up with an abundance of differently styled eyes. The point of this exercise is to get you to think about the way you'd like to communicate an eye in your drawing as you develop your style. Now it's time for you to do your homework. Using the basic elements, fill a page with as many different eyes as you can. I just drew over 50, but you don't have to stop there. The more you experiment and practice, the more likely you are to make discoveries about the way you like to draw an eye. Read more about this assignment on the lesson page for this tutorial, which you can find at bardobrush.com people. I've also made you a Pinterest board filled with inspiration and additional resources. I've put a link for this lesson page in the description. I hope you'll stay tuned for our next video where we're going to learn how to draw that beloved olfactory facial feature, the nose. Be sure to subscribe and tap the little bell icon so you don't miss it. I made this series as a part of my Making Art Every Day project, a year-long series of drawing prompts, tutorials, and motivation to help you establish a daily art making practice. Learn more at makingarteveryday.com. If you'd like to purchase the brushes used in this video, you can find them at bardobrush.com. If you're sharing your work on Instagram, I would love to see it. Use hashtag bardobrush. Thanks and happy art making! If you like this video, please subscribe for more awesome tutorials and check out one of my other videos. Have a great day!